What's going on guys? Welcome to your 24th Java tutorial again with me Travis and by now uh, you've kind of seen a lot of Java already. You kind of see how it works. You should be kind of familiar with methods and parameters that we can pass into methods and return statements. You know some of the basic uh, primitive data types all that great stuff. But one thing that we haven't really discussed or a few things I should say um, is these modifiers like public um, as you can see public class public static void main um, you know what the void means it's not returning anything you know this is a method called main that takes a basically a string array within the parameter but we haven't talked about what static is or public so that's what we're going to kind of get into in today's tutorial we're going to learn about the access um, or the modifiers of a class and then we're going to break it down into uh, of methods and stuff like that um, but first, all we're going to focus on is the class. And now there's two types of modifiers for a class. One is public, as you see here, and one is no modifier, which basically means package private, which basically means that it's only accessible to that package. And if you guys don't know what I mean, well, let's get into today's tutorial. So just change that to public, and let's get started. Now what a package is, um, we've used them. I kind of deleted out some of our other classes that we had within this default package, but we had a ton of different classes within our, our package here. But we can also create a new package, and generally when you work with uh, frameworks or something, you'll, you'll just have some other packages you can reference. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pretend that we uh, added a package to our project that's some sort of a framework that helps us develop a character or something like that so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna right click we're gonna go to new class within our new package that we created called character and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say character setup and we're also gonna create a new another new class called like Tommy something like that so now we have two classes within this package called uh, character now what we're going to do is we're going to open our character setup here and all we're going to do is we're going to create an int variable called health. We're going to set that equal to be 100 to start out with and we're just going to create one method that's going to return the health for us. So we're just going to say uh, public int uh, get health. Nothing within the parameter and what's going to return is again an int value and we're just going to return our health if I can spell and there we go pretty simple right now what we can do is we can go into our Tommy class and we can just say extends uh, character setup and now Tommy is going to have all the methods uh, available to use when we create a Tommy object and I'll show you guys what we mean here in a second I'm going to save all my projects here or all my uh, classes and stuff and we're going to jump back over to our starting point class which is in a different package right here and what we're going to do is we're going to create a Tommy object we're going to call this T and we're just going to say a new Tommy object pretty basic there and then what we're going to do is a system dot out dot print and we're going to print uh, T dot get health and now what we have to do is we have to add our imports because it doesn't recognize what a Tommy object is so we right click and we say import Tommy from the character package that we created and there we go now again the Tommy object which we called T has access to the get health method from the character setup class because again we extended character setup so we have access to this method so we can just save this and run it and we get a hundred cool right yeah, kind of what we'd expect, but let's create a new character within our default package. We're going to say new class, we're going to call this one Travis, and we're just going to say extends character setup. Again, the character setup is from a different package. Um, we're just going to say add import, so we have access to that package again. And now we can go back to our starting point class, basically do the same thing. I'm just going to copy and paste this instead of a Tommy object we're going to create a Travis object called Trav and uh, we're just going to say get health and uh, we have to create a new Travis 
object there. So now we just save this and uh, and for some reason it's saying we have a duplicate variable so I'm just gonna change this to be Travis instead and then Travis.getHealth I'm gonna train change these print statements to print line so we get it on a on a new line there and there we go we save and we run and we get a hundred and a hundred which again we expect now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the modifier within our character setup class here um, within our pa our character package so we're gonna open that up and we're just gonna delete this again public means any class can have access to this character setup but when we delete this now what this means is it's package private so we save our project and we're gonna get some errors now we go to our starting point class and as we can see we have an error here with this get health um, that's our only error pretty much and Tommy's not giving us any problems because again Tommy comes from the character package so he has access to the character setup character setups like yo Tommy you're my boy you're cool man you can use my methods Travis you gotta get out of here you aren't from my hood peace homie um, I don't know I'm pretty sure that's how like the character setup class would talk so what we're gonna do um, to fix this well, we can't really fix it. We can't really use the method because, again, Travis isn't from the character package, so we aren't allowed to import this character setup class, and we aren't allowed to extend it. Um, so I'm just gonna have to delete that, and you know, Travis isn't gonna have the powerful methods that's gonna be able to return the health. Um, so we're just gonna save that, and we're gonna have to delete this. Now we can just move the Travis into the character package um, and it would be able to extend again the character setup. But those are the only two modifiers for a class, either public or no modifier, which again means package private. So only other classes within the package can access that class. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I know it's kind of a uh, Kind of long for just explaining that but I kind of wanted to just give you guys an example so you uh, you know you see how that works and just quickly some of you guys might be like okay why would I ever use that well if you're developing a framework or like a game engine um, basically when you work with game engines or frameworks you just add a ton of packages that people already already have developed and you can simply create something just by referencing certain things within that package but if you're the one that developed that framework or developed that package that other people are going to use you don't want them to have access to certain classes because it might mess up their program because they aren't using your framework properly so that's why you would not have the public modifier on there and just have it set uh, to private uh, have it set to package private um, but that's kind of the reason why um, in the next tutorial we'll talk about some of the modifiers which are going to be more important um, you'll be using them more often but uh, that's pretty much it and I'll catch you guys then have a good one